going on everyone welcome back um it's it's been a minute since i made a video i've been making videos i've made like five videos all of them have been terrible i just i don't <laughs> i don't really like how they've been coming out so i've been remaking videos um uh, but today's video i crashed my yamaha r6 again now it wasn't an actual bad crash like this is the result of the damage it was like boom boom and boom so Yes, it's a bit painful. Oh no, the R6, you know, damage the R6, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I'm turning this machine into a track machine. And I need to learn how to actually get good at riding motorcycles. And the only way really to understand kind of what a limit is or where the limit could possibly be is to push towards that limit. And yes, I will fail. I basically was in this roundabout. I actually did do a knee down. My first ever knee down in the roundabout. Went back around again, and that's when I lost it basically um i leaned too far for these tires now obviously you can tell yes i still have chicken trips on these tires but these tires are also i'm assuming they're pretty old um i still have not looked at the date of these tires let me see if we can find that really quick okay yeah so these tires were apparently no way apparently they were made in 20 no there's no way they were made in 2012 bro zero percent chance so 19 I'm pretty sure 2019 is when these tires were made so yeah they're like five years old um so i need to kind of chill out till i get new tires which i'm going to be doing very soon because you're pretty much at the end of their lives but yes i did hit the knee down when it went around again and basically i lost the left side um but it kind of like flipped on the right side and crashed on the right side but i was only going like 20 miles an hour 30 miles an hour so it didn't really slide that far and it only did a bit of damage but at the end of the day bro I'm going to be making this thing into a track bike. It's going to be getting new fairings when I take it on track. Obviously, things like the this, like these clip-ons, nothing really got damaged up here. But this Woodcraft um, engine cover, it's meant to be crashed on. As you can see, the skid pad did its job. It it um, stopped the actual piece from getting sanded down, and the skid pad got sanded down. Same with the exhaust. At the end of the day, yes, it's a very beautiful exhaust. Things happen, though. And the only way for me to really get better at riding motorcycles is a practice and so you could say i'm destroying a beautiful motorcycle somewhat yes i could agree with you on that but i mean at the end of the day i gotta learn somehow bro it's going to be track bike i'm going to have to be changing parts out all the time when it's a track bike because i'm gonna have to be pushing limits on the track and when i'm pushing limits on the track i'm probably going to end up crashing a couple times and things are gonna have to get changed out here and there it's not like it's the end of the world i didn't total the fucking motorcycle got some battle wounds on here but it is what it is man if you think i'm ruining it then maybe you kind of ride for a different reason than i do but um with that being said we're just gonna hit a quick nice little ride around the, the valley today it's about to be the sunset so we'll just ride around kind of until the sun sets and then we'll be out of here um or then i'll end the video off oh and I just completely overlooked this. I did get carbon fiber frame covers, and they look beautiful in this lighting. They look... Oh, and I have holes in my gloves, so I'm gonna have to get new gloves, I guess. Yeah, I've crashed twice in these gloves already, but... I well, should probably do the cold start, or the start of the bike that you guys want to hear. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think the main reason that I crashed in the first place um, necessarily wasn't because of the tires. Uh, I think it was because of my upper body body positioning. I have learned that I'm very, very, very like upright on the motorcycle. My upper body is super postured upward, so I've been working on my lower body positioning and really, really getting better at to actually hold my body weight up and not my arms so now I can rest my arms at the side of the tank which is how it's supposed to be especially on sport bikes like obviously if you have a fucking Harley and your things are up here it's different like, but if you have a bike with aggressive seating positioning 
you've got to be able to utilize that scenic positioning. I also don't know if this road goes to an actual road or if it's just a neighborhood. I might lose a million aura if I turn around. But yeah, um, that's what I learned yesterday from that crash and any crash I have from here on out is just going to be a learning experience. That's the whole reason that, I, that you crash is because you have to be able to learn something from it, obviously. And if you're pushing, towards the limits, like I said earlier, you're going to find them eventually. I found it. I think the other reason I crashed is because I was not on the throttle, I was rolling off the throttle, trying to achieve that lean angle, which, as I know now, and I knew somewhat before, but I definitely know now, you've got to have constant um, throttle through a corner if you are trying to achieve, like, a extreme lean angle. What the fuck is he doing? That's how it goes. Really want me to. But yeah, um, it kind of sucks. Like I've said in other videos. Well, I guess you guys haven't ever seen the videos because I haven't uh, been posting them because they've all been turning out pretty terrible in my opinion. Um, I've got to kind of find a good road to practice on on the street, but I mean the street isn't like a good place to really practice. There's a lot of variables that you can't predict like road conditions, random things popping out in the middle of the road, um, other drivers, etc, etc. So practicing on the street isn't the smartest idea at all, and I know that, but I've got to be able to practice somehow, some way, and obviously I'm not out here to extract the maximum from a street. Because that would be just silly. I mean, yes, I could try to push the limits somewhat, but I'm not going to be out here day in and day out trying to push the limits uh, unless I'm in a safe environment to, you know, if I crash, to crash. So, yeah. But um, anything kind of lower speed is fine, but I mean, if I'm going high speed, I'm not going to be like pushing the fucking limits because that's how you end up with serious injury. way rather than using it against myself because I, th I think the biggest the biggest factor to whether you're fast or not is how you use your body and your body positioning if you have good quality body positioning it will become easier to go faster on track obviously if you don't you're gonna be fighting against yourself which is gonna in turn make you a slower rider so I'm not saying I have to Again, I don't have to have the most perfect body positioning and extracting the max and stuff like that, but learning the fundamentals on the street is definitely doable because you don't have to be going, you know, full throttle, max lean angle, all those kind of things to learn quality body positioning. So that's kind of like the main thing I'm out to extract from the street. This was like weed out here, bro. The fuck? Is no trying to race me?
I need to work on is my upper body positioning because I think since I'm a taller guy, um, I'm close to like six foot, which is, or not close to, I'm like, with like boots on and everything, I'd be six foot. Um, camera um, it's gonna have to be kind of like a, a ch more of a challenge for me if I am taller getting closer to the ground and using my body in the appropriate way that doesn't harm my performance on a motorcycle uh, especially in a track setting because like on the street yeah I guess being taller could be more helpful because you can flat foot a motorcycle but on the track if you're shorter, you have a, um, a lower center of gravity, which will help you on the track. It's all about your center of gravity relative to the motorcycle. So, at least from what I know now, that's kind of what it seems like. And that's what I've been learning. The whole reason you even lean in the first place, you move your body in certain ways, is just to manipulate your center of gravity to, you know, manipulate the bike to do certain things. That's all it is. And then the rest of it's a mental game. kids start on like dirt and stuff like that I never really did I wanted to my family wasn't uh, well off enough to do so like financially um, so I never really got the chance to get a dirt bike when I was younger which you know kind of sucks but now I have this so I worked hard for this so I'm gonna enjoy it and use it how I want to use it I know a lot of people would never ever this Gen R6, the newer Gen R6, and beat it up at the track machine. But I want to do that. That's what I'll find joy out of with the purpose of this machine is using it as a track machine. What it was designed to do. Just gotta work a little bit harder to be able to get myself into the position where I can actually start racing, start a racing career. Um, but yeah. That's what I want to use this motorcycle for, is track, which is what it was in turn made to do in the first place. Not, you know, cruise around the streets. And really any super bike or sport bike is made for that, but I mean, obviously, not all of them get used that way. And I'm not dogging on anybody who doesn't want to be like, you know, a track rider or anything. I don't give a fuck, bro. You just want to cruise around with your bike because it looks cool, it sounds cool, it is cool. Bro, there's zero problem with that. Zero problem. But me personally, I'm going to use this machine as a learning vessel. And here's to say, I can't ever repair it. Because I can't. Nothing's ever broken for good. Unless you, like, fucking destroy it. Hopefully I don't do that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fucking destroy it. But I do think that my era before I crashed, like, my era, bro, who the fuck am I? Like a Taylor Swift fan, bro? Oh, hell no. My, uh, like, my arc, my villain arc? No, no, bro, no. My villain arc, like, not, no. What do I call that, bro? Like, what do I even call that? My, uh... I don't over. I don't know what to call it. My riding style, I guess. I don't know. Before, I crashed with super, 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 super reckless. Um, I have no problems admitting that at all. I... I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy it because, yes, it was fun to experience what it's like to go extreme speeds on a motorcycle and things like that, but currently, as it stands now, I mean, that's not like my goal with riding. I don't want to just go fast. I want to actually be good at riding. So, 
if that means crashing my bike, you know, low siding, things like that, that's what it means, man. But yeah, yesterday when I crashed, I mean, honestly, I wish I was recording, but my GoPro had died like right before I was practicing. So yeah, whatever, I'll just practice and then I'll go home. But and after I crashed, I was like, no, no, no. I was like so devastated. But then I realized like, dude, if you want to get good at motorsports, you have to fucking crash. That's part of the, you know, I mean, there's no contract for this, but that's kind of written in the contract, bro. Like that's a necessity is that you have to experiment dance on the line, you know, and you're gonna crash, which is how it is, if you don't crash, you're not pushing hard enough, and obviously I'm saying on the street, like, you have to be a fucking street warrior, but, even in a low speed practice drill like I was doing, you can't say I wasn't trying, because I was, if the, if I could, if the 1% chance happened that I could ever become a professional rider, I would have loved to have these videos and be able to look back upon these scenes and realize how far I would go. Will it happen? Who knows? It's a, it's a not easy thing to do. It's expensive. Blah, blah, blah. But like, you know, I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but it could. Um, yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ride safe. Have a good one.